What I think Guy has done is created a, a very accessible Arthur for the new generation. Um, he's, he's a lot sort of more rough and ready. What, what we both were eager to avoid was um, this sort of noble soul looking for a cause, you know? Um, that's not at all really who, who Arthur is in, in this um, incarnation. He's a, a pretty selfish guy who's had to grow up fending for himself and he's carved out a, a little world for himself where he's the prince. That was always the thing with Excalibur. I mean, other than denoting that the carrier of it was the actual king, you know, that was really the only significance of it, where we've gussied it up a little bit and given it a sort of a real tangible power. There's a huge energy to it. You know, one of the functions of it is that it can slow down time for the wielder, which is, of course, in a fighting scenario, incredibly useful if you're moving <laughs> twice as fast as your adversaries. What Guy has done is said, no, 85% of this film is about character and storytelling. And then we're going to just sprinkle, you know, some magic on top and, and you know, and, 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 and blow the scope way wider. But as you see behind us, I mean, we're on fully realized sets and, um, and you know, there's very, very little green screen and every conversation, I mean, we've been here for 90 some days shooting this. Every single conversation I ever have with guys about storytelling, narrative, and character development. It's been an incredible experience for me and a, a great uh, learning experience and period of growth working with, um, with Guy. He is by far and away the best person I've ever seen on set. Um, making decisions in real time, deciding something's not working, and immediately coming up with a solution that's better. Um, and changing dialogue, reimagining, working with the actors in, very, in a very just instinctual way. He's, he needs to be on the environment with the people that are going to inhabit any given scene and then it comes alive to him and he can start understanding it and feeling it and, and crafting it in one way or another. I'm a huge fan of Jude's, I think he's terrific, but I think that he's I think that he put in a performance in this film that is going to really surprise people and I think it's going to be you know, one of his career best performances to date. I really do. I think, uh, I think he's done sensational work. Hi Lisa, here with some interesting movie extras facts for you. One of the earliest animation techniques was stop motion. It was first used in the late 1890s. Notable uses of stop motion include King Kong from 1933 and the skeleton skirmish in Jason and the Argonauts from 1963. Now Toy Story, the first feature length animated film to be created with CGI, generated 1,000 gigabytes of data and required 800,000 machine hours of editing. Are you an animation movie fan? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel and check the notification bell to always be up to date with all the latest releases.